Now then, for our reporter Tony Daugherty, life on the road's full of little ups and downs, but in his report today, the ups and downs are rather bigger than usual as he meets the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain. Now, if you were like me as a child, you were always terrified of things like the Wild Mouse. I went to Morecambe once and spent a shilling as it was in those. Does anybody remember a shilling? Yes. Thank you, we won't have that tomorrow, but Mrs Thatcher's sticking up for it. However, I spent a shilling on the Wild Mouse and went around this thing that absolutely terrified me. Can you believe that some people would do this out of choice all the time? Neither can I, but Tony meets them, and here they are, the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain. Grip your seat, please. Now, I have to admit, when it comes to going to the fairgrounds and going on those more scary rides, you know, the ones where one minute your hands are in the sky, the next minute your stomach's about to leave your body, I pass on all that. It's just not my cup of tea. Leave that all to my mate. However, for the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain, there is no other real sensation like it. Rachel, what is it about the roller coaster? It's something different. It's a thrill factor. Until you ride a roller coaster, you don't really know what the experience is all about. What is it about the roller coaster then? Thrill. What's the most exciting? <laughs> <laughs> It's the end of the season down here at Breen in Somerset. The fun fair is all closed for the winter. What true Roller Coaster Club member could resist the opportunity to have one more chance of having their life scared out of them and also meet the man who's become a bit of a hero to them? This is David Pickstone, who three years ago did what um, many of us just fantasise about. He chucked in his nine to five job as a draftsman, packed that all in and bought the wild mouse. David, I know this sounds a bit cheeky, but um, what made you do it? Um, well, I think I must be a little bit mad. A little? <laughs> um, I, I, I love roller coasters above everything else. And um, I actually saw an advert in the newspaper for this ride. And it was the very first one I went on as a child. And um, I saw it advertised and my curiosity led me to sort of phone up. And <laughs> I ended up buying it. Well, what do you do with something like this? Is it just a case of picking it up from one park and dropping it here? Well, in this case, no, it, it needed total renovation. And, um, you know, I've spent a fortune on it. And I, it took me two years, in fact, to rebuild it. Because it's uh, quite unique. It's got a wooden structure with steel tracks. And I had to replace about 85% of the woodwork. This is the only one of its kind in Britain, the only Benship one. Now I can see people screaming and going up and down. What is your favourite part of the ride? Um, I suppose for me it's the combination of the hairpin curves, the uh, <laughs> uh, illusion that you're going to come off the tracks, uh. and the uh, big 60 degree drop at the back. I suppose if we're going to do a story about roller coasters, it means, um, yeah. have a go. I must say, I don't normally do this. Where's my, hold on, where's my seatbelt? Oh dear, oh dear. I'll see you at the top. Well, I have to say, I was bullied into doing this. You know, just wanted a nice quiet day at the seaside. Somewhere along the line, I'm sure I'm going to say a word I'm not allowed to say. We're actually now going on. I have to say, this is the first time I've ever been on a roller coaster. You now get a nice view of Somerset, and this is probably where I now go. That's the first, oh my god. It's actually not too bad here. We're going round again. 
I've been prepared for most of this. Suddenly I'm gonna scream. It's not a sound. It's not a sound effect either. Here comes the funny bit. This is the bit where we go. I was gonna say this is the bit where we go down. Oh my. This is the bit where we go down again. Ah! Ah! I would thoroughly embarrass myself. Um, I think next time we go to the seaside, I'll just have the candy floss. I, t I couldn't look, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the relationship between me and roller coasters is not a good one. The relationship between actors... Redbox and lean on me. Just like say we've had a number of phone calls from uh, fairground people to warn us that if you are going on a roller coaster, don't wave your hands in the air. Hang on tight. That's all for today. Join us tomorrow with the likes of Bill Wyman and Rolling Stone fame, the Ferris Sachs, and a feature on the Royal Ballet's move to Birmingham. Are you going to be along there in your tutu? I will. I'll be there doing a padded. Uh, put me point shoes on. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same without you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.